Right, Brakha the Yahweh, 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 Brakha the on the priest Shimon, and this week's topic is going to be a title Every Great Millstone Member Goes Out There on the Streets. The inspiration for the show comes from, um, there was a comment left on um, one of the videos that I had done, uploaded on these several different pages, you know. It was a while ago, Apostle of Taha said that, you know, we have to have at least three channels, you know, so I'll upload these videos to different channels. And long story short, one of the comments on uh, one of the other channels I got, not, not the main one that we use, you know, some guy said, um, glad to see a great millstone member teaching that you don't have to teach on the street. Something to that effect. I guess because, you know, you see the videos, the screen recording, you see videos like this in transit here while I'm in the car. And um, I replied to him on the comment board, but I just want to do this lesson so nobody get it twisted. Even though we're doing videos on in transit videos in the car, but we're doing on-screen recordings, every single great millstone member it's commanded, first of all, by the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, using the form of our apostles and our elders and those above you, that you have to go out there on the streets. If, by all means, you can't just be um, indoor lessons, man. Now, to that to that brother, he might not see this, but you know, on a born again live channel, you can see it, the live camp. But you know, that's just speaking for myself. But I know every brother out there, they might not have their camp, their live camp shows on there all right but i go out i go out later i work night so i go out later uh you know but i'm still out there with the akim every saturday Lord willing through the spirit and power of yahweh by shimmy i'm and willing and capable all right because there's no way you could be in great millstone and not be going out there if you're fully able to all right when i say fully able to brothers are understanding you know if you have an ailment where you can't walk um properly you can't stand there for several hours you know medical reasons that's between you and the most high and brothers will be merciful and, and reasonable all right they use proper judgment but if you full, fully able to be out there then you have no excuses the scriptures talk about being bent to the marriage all right and that's and being a profitable servant first and foremost the internet highways and byways is, is good too because look at all the comments you might get on a, a video of a man that's out there in a different state all right, or a person. So, you know, this is a greater avenue in terms of reading, the, um, uh, getting the masses out there, all right, because the, the, even though more people will walk by you than, than watch a video, all right, because we see hundreds of people every day, when we go out, every week, rather, when we go out there on the, on the Saturdays, all right, hundreds of, of, if not thousands of people see us, but how many really stop and make a comment, few and far between, as rather you do a lesson, you know, more people could interact with your videos from different parts of the world, all right? So the internet is very important. It fits in prophecies in Psalms of 14 chapter. Well, yeah, it should be Psalms of 14 chapter about night after night, utter a speech. If not Psalms, it could be Psalms either 14, 19, or 17. It's locking. But the internet is in there, and we and we know that. But guess what? It's even more in there. Going out there in the highways and edges, man, all right? That's really, you know, going out and battling the elements. That is mandatory, okay? So I don't know if the brother was sincere. Uh, based on his name, he might, you know, he just might be just an Israelite, you know what I'm saying? Because even though you're an Israelite pursuant to the book of Romans 9 and 16, that don't mean you're right. You know, they're not all Israel, which are Israel. So you got guys out there that know that they're Israelites, but there's so many different um, channels. There's so many different, you know, like a river, it's like a sea breaking off into a river, which breaks off into several different streams, you know what I'm saying? So you can constantly see. You know it's breaking off but it's all part of that water of israel but the most is only dealing with one particular stream man all right one particular doctrine you know never in the scriptures did everybody get together with different beliefs and that was the way that the most is working with or not it was always just one way that the most side deals with things and we have to i gotta make this clear going out there on the highways and byways all right at least here in great millstone is mandatory all right if you're fully able you know it's mandatory. I never, I never met no brother that was given the pass to just do shows during the week. All right, that was not unless you know he had a um, a, a physical ailment or something like that or a physical condition that inhibit inhibited him. In fact, the apostles gave a story about a guy that was in a wheelchair. This was prior to the YouTube era, 
All right, I'm talking about prior to 2007, but going back to what we call the old school, all right, that was out there in the wheelchair, man, holding posts, you know? Now, you know, in this day and era, I don't know if the apostles might make a guy go out there with a wheelchair. You know, that could kind of be counterproductive or detrimental, but that's up to the apostles, all right? But if the spirit's on a man, you know, he's, he's fucking, if he's, you know, in a wheelchair, he said, look, man, I'm just going to go out there and if I could contribute somehow, somehow to this world, just being out there, then hey, man, you know what I'm saying? But if you're a prophet of the Heavenly Father, you're going to want to go out there anyway. It becomes a part of you, you know? It comes a, it really comes a part of you wanting to teach this thing, man. Like, you know, one brother, you know, he said, one of the apostles got on, got on brothers um, about not doing the three shows a week. You know, one brother had made a statement that I got my three shows in this week. And you don't want to really, you know, come on, man. It shouldn't be like that, you know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be like, this thing is a burden for you to do. Like, yes, I, you know, I got to make my quota. And, you know, I, yes, I made it. I barely made Nah, man, you should be eager to want to teach like that. It should really be in you. Like, yeah, I just want to teach, you know? That's really how the most I wants us to be. That's when you're truly hot. When the apostles or no brother got to get on your case, you know? That's how the most I wants us all to be. Is it going to always be like that? No. It's a certain dispensation of faith, you know? But that's how that's that's the standard we should set, man. That's the standard we should set because we, even though we know that all men have the same faith, we should set a certain standard, and, and a part of the standard is being extremely uh, diligent. That, hey, man, that's what Great Millstone is known for. All right, we know for for, for um, getting on guys that teach bullshit, and we don't just get on people to get on people. Let's just we're gonna get on now. Let's, nah, it's if you teach it madness according to the doctrine. All right, we're gonna defend the gospel. All right, so. I don't want anybody thinking like that guy that, that just because I'm doing shows in the car, I might be doing my screen recording shows, that anybody here in Great Millstone has a license to not uh, license to not go out there on the highways and byways, all right? Because that's that's something com commanded, of, commanded us of the Heavenly Father, go out there on the highways and edges. In fact, this is a post-camp lesson. Every Saturday, Lord willing, going back, you know, shit, we've been doing this for a minute, uh, always doing post-camp shows. Always doing post camp shows. I remember that the spirit just said, "Yo, let's, let's just do a post camp show." That was back when we was on thirty four. Through the spirit of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? You know, one time we used to drive as a group. Now brothers got their own rods, or whatever. But hey, still continuing the spirit of doing them post camp lessons, man. Doing them post camps lessons, and you know, you kind of make it kind of becomes a habit. Like, I really just can't wait to just you know what went on during the week. All right, what topic can I speak about now? And, and definitely going out there in the highways and the byways, man, because that's when you truly get to link up with all the Akim, all right? And it's, 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 it's therapeutic, man. I'm going to say that, man. It's therapeutic because throughout the week, you still link up with brothers. But, you know, ain't nothing like, you know, all coming together and fulfilling First Corinthians, the first chapter, the 10th verse, you know, speaking the same thing, being on one accord, man, because the world, they think differently, man, all right? People in the world are not sincere with you, man, Okay? You might come across a few sincere jakes here and there, but for the most part, part people in the, in the world are cutthroat, grimy, and you always have to have your guard up. I mean, you always have to have your guard up 24-7, all right? But when you're amongst brothers, man, you see that, look, you're all aiming towards the same goal, that you all have the same path, that you're all trying to work out your own salvation. Hey, man, that's therapeutic, man, for real. Okay, and when we get together, we don't get to, how can we all get together in a crib uh, a house rather, you know, when we be like, you know, like almost a hundred deep, the camp is growing massive, man. The camp in New York is growing. I know that I heard the LA camp is crazy large, Chicago camp is crazy large. All right, you can't be renting out a spot every every week for that amount of, amount of people. Now you go out there the highways and hedges, man, because you know you don't know who's gonna pass, man. All right, you don't know who's gonna who, who might gain that the word. Hey, certain brothers might fall on hard times, don't got the um computer at home, all right, might not, you know, you never know, you never know, but we know this, there's a reason that the Most High wants us out there on the highways and byways specifically, man, to go out there on the street, something that the Most High likes about that, man, because he's been having his prophets do that for ages, man, all right, and nothing is going to change, the scripture says there's no new things under the sun, under the spirit of his prophets, the subject to the prophet, a prophet is going to always want to say before the things are going to happen, he's going to always want to, Look at Jeremiah 28 and 8 it says, Alright, the prophets that have been before me and before thee, talking to Hananiah, 
prophesy both against many kingdoms and against great countries, all right? And it's a, it's a different atmosphere when you're out there on the actual streets, man, all right? Right now, I can control my heat in my car, got the light, I got, you know, there's no, uh, how you say, like, real static, you know what I'm saying? But it, in the elements, anything can happen, uh, you know, anybody, it keeps you more sharp, all right? It's like, it's like, you know, some, it's like doing this lesson is almost like shadow boxing, you know? Just doing this lesson is like shadow boxing, all right? But going out on the highways and byways is actually boxing, you know? Or rather, hitting a hitting a um, heavy bag, which does a move, okay, versus hitting fighting an opponent, opponent which is moving and throwing different things at you. So that's what that's what I like in going on out today. You know, even though you do these shows during the week, it's like you shadow boxing, right? But the highways and byways is when you really, really box, man. And, you know, anything can come at you. You know, and you got to know how to maneuver through these scriptures, all right, to defend the gospel. Okay, because they can throw anything at you. And when you go out there week in, week out, what that does too is build experience. Hey, speaking of the boxing analogy, all right, a guy can hit a heavy bag and be the, he, 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 he could be the nicest with the speed bag and get in his fight and he has no experience to get his ass beat, you know? Because he, he hasn't gone through any challenges, he hasn't gone through any experience. Now, when you go out there consistently and you deal with different spirits, all right, more often than not, that same, that same spirit come back, but on a different person. It might be the spirit of so-called Christianity, the spirit of a Muslim, the spirit of an Islamist, the spirit of a so-called Jew, all right? The, the God love everybody spirit. You know how to deal with these spirits and what scriptures to go to automatically, and that's how the Most High keeps us sharp, man, all right? You don't get that just doing lessons on the screen recording. You don't get that... Um, just being in the crib, all right? And you might say, okay, I'm going to go live and I'm going to... But come on, man. You already know people on the comment boards are a lot of scoffers, okay? And not only that, it's different to look a man in the eye or look a person in the eye when you're dealing with them as opposed to on the comment boards. People can hide and be different types of characters and different types of superheroes on the comment boards, but, but that, that true interaction, all right, is completely different, all right? So in closing, every single great millstone member goes out there on the highways and byways, all right? I'm talking about if you're a prophet, all right? I'm not talking about the great millstone helps out there because you have women out there that help us out, all right? You got elderly that might just be able to, you know, just help us out. But I'm talking about the, the those that are bodily able to go out there, all right? We go out there, man. At least once a week, we go out there, all right? And the spirit happens to go out. Hey, the apostle of the hall made big up uh, GMS Detroit. One view, two views on the last chat, but they was out there diligently strong, man. All right, and that's every that we know of. Every great millstone member has that same spirit. Every great millstone camp has that same spirit. We don't give a fuck how many people is out there. We don't give a fuck how many people is watching, because the Lord told us prophesy onto the wind if we have to. We're gonna do our due diligence to go out there in the highways and byways and teach this word. And with that, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rakakodash. I want to say double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone Truel. A salutation to the whole for the elect out there, man. You occupy, we stay strong in this thing. Shalom.